Hi everyone, this is Julia from Avenger Geek and today I'm going to be showing you how to perfectly pitch your Lanshan 2 tent. I got this one from AliExpress over a year or so ago um, and I've been using it with trekking poles um, but recently I've just had a new pole arrive. I'll be really honest with you, I first had a massive one arrived, it was too big, that's nearly the same size as me. Um, so I had a smaller one arrived just about two weeks ago. So I'm going to pitch it today with this particular pole, uh, which is just a dinky pole and also a trekking pole. Because now when I go out walking, I only use one pole, I don't use two. So I just keep this uh, really lightweight carbon pole in my pack. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to perfectly pitch your Lansham 2. Okay, so as we're on lockdown, I've decided I've got people mowing lawns and playing football and all the rest of it. So I just thought I would just do a voiceover for this. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. So the first place I'm going to start is with my footprint. So I also bought this from AliExpress. I say I have had this tent now for well over a year. Um, it's done the South Downs way with me while camping. Lots of like overnight little trips as well. Uh, and I found this is the perfect way to pitch my Lanshan 2. So the first thing I always do is just to protect it, you know, it's an investment at the end of the day, is to get the old footprint out and uh, thank God there's no wind today, eh? The next thing I do, I always keep my pegs and um, my footprint and everything in my little lecky bag, which is a lecky pole bag. Um, obviously you can have any bag that you want, but the next thing I do is take my little groundhog pegs um, that came with the tent and I put one in each corner of uh, just on the ground and then you'll notice that I then go back because I forgot to put the ones out for the poles so I just chuck the ones on the poles on the floor as well one and two okay I then grab my poles and let's stick those out as well so we're going to put the poles are just here the size of the poles that I use are 168 centimeters so I'll convert that and put that on the screen as well so you've got that in inches then you get the time to get the tent out So I like to roll my tent and a lot of people will put them into like stuff it into the uh, sack but I just like to roll it up so it's nice and neat um, and I say it protects it as well it's easier to put out the next time round as well so literally just spreading that out there spreading it over so it's all looking good. Okay so far so good. This next point is really important. Um, rather than putting all four um, pegs all in one go, um, we're just gonna put two in. So I'm gonna start off just by pegging uh, the first two out. Um, and let me explain where those pegs actually go because that's quite important as well. So when you when I first got mine, I need to re-thread these because they were on backwards. So I had to take them out and take them in again. You're looking for the orange tag. That's where the peg goes. Do not put the... Uh, the peg in the grey area that's that shouldn't be done you need to definitely go in the orange one so peg out two all right as i said the next thing to do is to make sure you're only pegging out two um stake holes you're not doing all four you're just doing two and make sure that these two are in a very straight line so i've used the extra pole there to make sure that my line is straight um but obviously you can't do that when you're out in the field but yep, just peg down the second one. Let's get it in nice and tight like that. Nice and nice and straight. <laughs> then you need to take your pole on the opposite side that you've already pegged out. So I'm taking my extra spare carbon fibre pole here and just hooking that up making sure that it's pegged underneath just find the little hook that's on the bottom and then I look down uh, to make sure that I've got a perfect triangle and then just push that into the ground 
and then start pegging it out. All right, just to give you a quick look of what those loops look like, they go into the little knot. Please do not undo that knot um, if you're new to the land channel. Lots of people have undone them and then they have to make up a knot to put the, uh, the pegs in. So that's where your pegs go in that little loop uh, just in the guy rope there. Excellent. So you may be tempted at this stage to peg out the other two corners, but please don't. Um, just go back to the other side of the tent, undo the door. I don't know about you, but I like to pack away my tent with the door all closed up. Um, get your second pole. Don't forget to hook it in that little loop right at the bottom. It may feel a little bit tight because obviously you've pulled it nice and tight with the two pegs that goes down. Um, but get all that sorted. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put my little loop in. <laughs> Close the door nice and tight. Put your peg in that loop and peg that down nice and tight. Okay, so now that's done. The door is all closed up. We now can go around and peg out those last two corners. So don't forget it goes in the orange um, tag, not the grey tag. So this is the first one. And as you can see, that's pulled nice with no ripples there at all. And I go around and do the other side as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is just work my way around the tent and just tighten it up by pulling those grey um, those grey tags and also tightening up the guidelines guidelines as well. And as you can see, all those seams are coming out nice and neat now. But I don't need to take out any pegs um, just to make it a nice pitch. A bit fiddly, aren't they? Those guide right guidelines. Once you've got them sorted, they do look good. So there's one more thing left to do, and that is to make sure that the bathtub inside the inner is attached to the outside. So the way you do that is you just put your hand just underneath and look for the little black uh, elastic. It'll have a loop on the end and that just needs to go over the top of the peg. So then it's just a case of attaching all four corners. So putting your hand underneath, looking for that black elastic, getting the little loop and sticking it on the peg. And then working my way around to the second one, getting the little elastic underneath. I usually use my sit mat with this, obviously it's not too bad on the floor today, um, but I just take my sit pad uh, and work my way around. I'd already done the third one, so just going to do the fourth one now, and then that's it. A matter of times I've forgotten to do this stage, and then you go to put your sleep pad in and all the rest of it, and uh, you've got loads of creases inside, so that bit in there is really, really important. Right, let's have a, I'll go show you what it looks like inside now. So as you can see, it's not a perfect pitch inside. There is still a few creases in there, but not as bad as it has been in the past for me. Um, so yeah, hopefully you can see that works quite well. So that's it, the Lanshan 2. This is not the Lanshan 2 Pro, just the Lanshan 2, and that's how to pitch it. Obviously you can use the additional guidelines if need be, but uh, that's how I do it. 
Right, back in the office now. Uh, I say I was just doing the, the voiceover for that because it was an absolute nightmare trying to do that in the garden when you've got everyone playing games and stuff like that outside, which was uh, yeah, a bit of a nightmare. But if you've got any tips, if you've been using this um, tent for a while as well, I found definitely by doing the two pegs and then the poles and then the last two pegs, I definitely get a better pitch. Uh, but if you've got any tips, then please, please share them with me just by commenting below. That'd be ace. Right, that's me. I'm going to go out and enjoy the sunshine now. I'll see you later, guys. Take care. Don't forget, get outside, get inspired, and go take a hike when you can. But in the meantime, stay safe.